Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and making costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some of those items you already have at home. Today we will be recreating the iconic Miss Betty Boop, created by Max Fleischer in 1930. Betty Boop was the animated version of the American Flapper. Let's get started. Here she is, Miss Betty Boop. If you've watched my Miss Argentina video, this is the same dress I'm using for Betty Boop. All I did was I hemmed it a little bit. It was kind of long. It was like almost to the knees. So I, I uh, temporarily hemmed it. It's just a very simple stitch. I could easily take out when I'm done. I didn't want to permanently alter this dress. I took the straps off so it would be strapless and it is a sweetheart neckline. I'll put down in the description what I spent on this when I paid for it back when I did Miss Argentina last year. I have some gold bracelets. I bought these very cute Gianni Beanie stilettos. They've got the sequins and I thought they were just awesome and they were pretty good shape for 10 bucks at the thrift store. I got this garter which matches the dress so great and it has the little heart in the middle. I got that off of Amazon for like eight bucks. And then earrings, just gold hoops. I tried to get bigger ones. Those are actually hard to find. <laughs> A gold hoop that's big and kind of plain, it's hard to find. I decided I'm gonna use these sparkly nude fishnets for the look. She's a sparkly kind of chick, so. And then of course, you see me wear this wig a hundred times. <laughs> It's one of my favorites of all time. My mom actually bought this wig years ago for $20 out of a magazine, and it's stood the test of time. And it's still one of my favorite wigs to date. It is a finger waved black wig. It's human hair, so it's not hot to wear. It's awesome, so comfortable. And then I'm just gonna do a corset underneath to give me that hourglass figure. And that's the entire costume. Let's get started with our makeup. How's everybody doing today? Betty Boop. Getting started with Betty Boop, we're gonna need to glue down our eyebrows. And I'm gonna try and do a better job than I normally do because they're really gonna need to be glued down this time because she has a very high eyebrow going up. So I'm getting ready to do that. As far as the makeup goes, this is just normal makeup. So foundation, powder, blush, lipstick, eyeliner, you know, that kind of thing. I will put in the description box everything that I use to create this look. That way, if you want to do the same, you'll know kind of what you need to buy. It's gonna be generics, pretty much. I mean, anything you wanna use, it's just regular makeup. You probably, I mean, most people have just something generic laying around. It doesn't require any special kind of makeup is all I'm saying, just your normal stuff. I have done Betty Boot before. I've done her actually twice. Years ago, when I was married to my second husband, I did, I, Betty Boop for a party and then I did it again like around 2017 but Betty Boop is a look that I inadvertently like I don't do it on purpose but because I wear that wig all the time I naturally look like Betty Boop I'm not gonna go out with like brown eyebrows or anything I do the black eyebrows I do the red lipstick and the winged eyeliner and I get told I look like Betty Boop a lot but I'm actually not like a big I don't want to say I'm not a big fan of Betty Boop, but I'm not total fandom for Betty Boop or anything like that. I have nothing Betty Boop in my house, really. I have one makeup carrier that my mother-in-law bought me, and I keep my rollers in there. <laughs> but as far as like being a huge fan, I'm not really. I have a couple of t-shirts with her on there, and because it, it looks kind of cute with when I with my hair and everything. But that's basically it. I'm more of a Lucille Ball fan if you haven't already noticed. This is gonna be pretty easy makeup. Betty Boop is iconic, so anywhere you go, people are gonna know what you're trying to convey, what you're trying to do. It's not gonna be a hard one to figure out, if you know what I mean. And it's really not a hard one to put together on your own. There's plenty of dresses at thrift stores and in consignment shops and things like that that look like something that Betty Boop would wear. So it's really an easy concept to go with for Halloween. I'm gonna start putting on my foundation and for this one, I'm just gonna go with the Kat Von D. It's a little more pale, 
it's more kind of pasty. I'm kind of going for that. So I'm gonna do the Kat Von D today. But again, you can use any foundation you want. And I'm just going all over my face with this. I'm waiting to do, I'm waiting for my eyebrows still to dry. I went a little crazy, but they really need to be glued down. So this also covers really well when I do glue my eyebrows down. Kat Von D is good stuff for that. I've looked at a lot of versions. There's, if you look online, there's no shortage of makeup tutorials for Betty Boop. They're everywhere. They're all different kinds of ways people have done it. They do the really big eye with the eye, when the eyes closed, you see, you know, like they paint on top of the eyeball so it looks like a big eye when the eyes closed. I, I actually prefer just making the eye look bigger and using my natural eye, pupil and everything as the eye. Like we did for the Snow White Witch. That's just my preferred. Like I don't, I want the look to be the look with my eyes open, <laughs> you know, not having to close my eyes to give the whole look. Cause I'm not gonna be running around all night with my eyes closed. So my look today is gonna be a combination of pretty much everything I've kind of researched online. It's gonna be great. There's been a bit of a controversy actually about Betty Boop and where the inspiration actually came from. And a lot of people tend to think that the inspiration for Betty Boop was derived from the 1920s silent film actress and it girl of the 1920s Clara Bow. And you can see the similarities when you look at, at Clara Bow and Betty Boop. But actually, Betty Boop was inspired by a 1920s Harlem jazz singer named Esther Jones. And she was actually black. She wasn't even white. So that's the actual inspiration for Betty Boop though. Just in case you didn't know. But both actually do personify the image of Betty Boop. They were both flappers. They were both around during that time. So I can see where the confusion lies for sure. Now I'm going over everything with powder. Just give me a nice matte finish. You wanna know a funny story? It was probably 2015, somewhere around there. And I've been doing this Betty Boop look for since my mom bought me this wig and it was years ago. It was probably 20, 2011 or 2012 when she bought me the wig. And I've just been rocking it because I like wearing wigs. It was such a comfortable wig. It's human hair. I live in Florida, so it's hot. You know, you don't want to wear all that synthetic hair on your neck. It gets hot, it gets tangled. And I hate synthetic wigs for everyday wear. But when she got me this wig, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do my thing. And I'd do my makeup with the red lipstick and the black eyeliner and everywhere I went, people were like, oh my God, you look like Betty Boop. And so it was, it's really cool and I still get that today every time or I put the wig on and I, I do my makeup as such. And I'd been doing it for about a year or two and then all of a sudden I'm walking through Walmart one day and I see my face as a Halloween mask. Here it is. I'm going, uh, and it said creepy girl mask. I didn't need this, I don't like masks, but I had to buy it because I was like, yeah, I'm probably never gonna see my face as a Halloween mask again, but. So, yeah, I've had this, you know, probably since 2015, and I don't wear it, I just think it's cool. Like, I'm proud to have my face as a Halloween mask. Big fat black liner. I'm gonna sharpen it so I have a real nice tip on it. Since all of my eyebrow didn't really cover great, um, I'm just going to start, I'm going to do my eyebrows in such a way that when it comes down, it kind of covers half the eyebrows, so at least half of it's taken care of. <laughs> so I've seen the eyebrows and they go... I went ahead and did, used my liquid liner for my eyebrow because it shows up great and I'm probably gonna be doing that for underneath too. And it, it paints over that glue better than just the, the pencil alone. And you can see I put my wig on so I'd have a, a bit of a point of reference. <laughs> I didn't want my eyebrow to be covered up by my wig because that wouldn't really make any sense, right? All right, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I got my crazy eyebrows. That was probably the most monotonous part of this whole costume. And probably the one I was 
most nervous about. The other two times I did this costume, I didn't go with the crazy eyebrows. I just used my own regular eyebrows and my regular Betty Boop look, what I do all the time, which isn't real, it's not cartoony. It just, it's just me and I have kind of a round face and everything. So I look kind of, I look like her when I wear the wig. I was like the Betty Boop in human form. You know that, that kind of looks like Madonna when I do that, you know how she's been pulled. She always has her face pointed down, it makes it look really pointy. I'm just looking for kind of like a darker color. There's like a dark gray in here. Uh, and this, this is the same Ulta palette I've been using. Pretty much has a lot of colors in it. It's got a lot of blush and contouring colors as well. So it's been really, really good to use for costumes. I, I'm not one to go out and buy a bunch of different palettes. I've got like three or four that I use all the time. And when these are done, I'll buy more. Or if I need a specific color. There's this effect that they do that I've been noticing and they kind of have a perfect half circle of a darker color. And then they've colored in the middle a lighter color, which looks really cool. Cut out a piece of note cards with the little lines on one side. And I cut out a little piece here to hopefully make it a perfect half circle here. I'm just gonna press that down and go around with this darker color and see if this works. I'll say it did. Worked pretty good. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Uh, I need a little more right in here. I think it's just cause that's where my eye folds. You wanna have a fair amount of shadow on your applicator. It's easier than trying to do it freehand, probably. I didn't watch any of these other tutorials and mainly because I kind of like to come up with my own. I don't want to be copying off of anybody or anything like that too much, but I thought I'll just cut out a little half circle and that way they at least kind of look the same. This is also covering up the brow, which didn't cover too well with the glue. So that's great. I'm going to do it to the other side now. Now that I've done the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending out those lines as well. And just try to make both eyes match. And we're gonna go in through the middle with a really light, maybe gold color. That'll look pretty. I hope this looks good. I think when I'm done, it will. Right now I'm going, I look wild and crazy. <laughs> but when everything comes together, it'll be perfect. So I have my Kat Von D palette here, Edge of Reality palette, and it's got a lot of really cool, great gold colors in there and shimmeries. Ooh, I might use this peachy one. There's a peach shimmer in here, a couple of them, and I'm probably going to use one of those. I'm kind of using it to also round out the area where I may have kind of come into the lines a little bit with the shadow. I ended up using this to kind of go around the dark, the dark color in here has a bit of a shimmer to it. So it's obviously one of my favorites in the palette. <laughs> I'm almost done with it. And then I'm kind of going between this kind of gold or darker peach shimmer color and this lighter peach shimmer color for the center and that's working for me all right so i'm going in here now and i'm just going in with my peachy colors the dark first and then i kind of lightened it up with the with the lighter color it looks crazy right now like i said i've never done it this way before but this is what i was seeing kind of a lot of online is this style anyway I'm, I'm doing it for the first time with you which i don't normally do or at least try it out first but we're getting ready to go on vacation it's not really a vacation it's just a short weekend we're going to miami for a couple days gonna visit the coral castle if you've heard of it and there are some cool celebrity burials there jackie gleason is buried there in miami dade so I'm working my way down. I'm gonna do my winged eyeliner. All right, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna get there. So I'm doing my little winged liner. And then I'm gonna line down here in my waterline with some white. 
I'm gonna go a little bold with this. She is Betty Boop after all. You want the drama with Betty Boop, you really do. I do use a liquid liner, it is Maybelline waterproof liquid liner. It is a brush applicator, which is what I've always preferred over a felt tip applicator. Because I've been using this since middle school, I feel like the brush for definition is better. I, I don't know why, you know? Some people have a hard time with the brush, but for me, it's my preferred, and I've, this is a tried and true. And like I said, it's had its moments where it was not something with the formula. It just was not what I had had before, but this one's okay. I bought this one about a month ago. I'm going in. You can, you can kind of see it coming together, right? With the wing tip there. I know people do this differently than I do, which is why I don't normally do my wing tips on camera because I kind of just do it however. I just ch -ch -ch and, then <laughs> and it's there, but I've been doing it for a long time. Now I'm going to put on my mascara. Mascara is important before you put on your, your fake eyelashes. You, you don't want to, because your eyelashes, <laughs> If you've got light eyelashes, or even if you don't, when you put on all of this eyeshadow, your eyelashes will get light because all that dust falls down onto your eyelashes. And then if you put your eyelashes on and you haven't put mascara on and redarkened your eyelashes, you can have little white eyelashes sticking out of your black fake lashes. So you don't want that. That's why we do it this way. Oh shoot, this is coming together. Now I'm gonna do the under my eyes. Since we're working our way down, I've got nothing going on down here. I am going to have a little bit of professional Benai in here because I was just in Cincinnati and they had a costume shop there. <laughs> ah, when I saw it, I was like, oh no. Didn't factor this into our budget for our trip, but the cool thing is, is when you have costume shops that are all year round, when you order stuff, you don't have to pay the shipping. The shipping is really expensive. I got a bunch of stuff there. I didn't have to pay the shipping and it was actually a little cheaper than you can find online. So if you do have a costume shop, that's always better than getting online because you will pay more. So I did drop about a hundred bucks there, <laughs> but I'm glad I did because I got some stuff I needed and some stuff I didn't need but would need in the future. I got this really big um, Ben Nye Color Cream pencil in white. And look how good it covers. Oh my goodness. Yay! I'm going to do that first. I will be doing what I did with the Snow White Witch and just going under my eye to make my eyes appear bigger with a black pencil. And I will color in with my Vin Nye Cream Pencil that I'm so happy I bought. This is a makeup that's gonna take a little bit of time to do. It'll take probably an hour to do your makeup. After I do that, I'm gonna color it in with this Vin Nye Cream Pencil. Vin Nye Cream Pencil is basically just in a pencil. What the Vin Nye Cream is as a cream, but it's just in pencil form. It's nice and bright. This cream has lasted, I've had this since, I don't know, like 20, probably 2011, I don't know, 2008, early 2000s, and it lasts forever, so. And the pencils last a long time too, so that's cool. These are like uh, $15 if you buy them at a local costume shop, and online you pay the $15 still, but you also pay shipping. That's just to, you know, show you. Now I have my liquid liner again, and under here, I'm gonna go ahead and Now, we're kind of going to do an under uh, bottom lash, but we're going to kind of make it look like Boop's hair. So, isn't that cute? Aw, look how cute. Wait till we put our lips on. This is going to be awesome. 
So I finished my lashes on the bottom. I'm going to do a little blush. I'm gonna use a pinky blush for this one. And then we'll do our lips. And that'll be pretty much it. I'm gonna step off camera to do my lashes. I'm going a little heavy on the blush just because this is Betty Boop. You know what would be a really cool idea too is to actually do Betty Boop in black and white. I don't really see that usually, but that would be really neat too. I think for Betty Boop, I'm going to line my lips with black and I'm gonna go over my natural lip line quite a bit. So that's all I did was I outlined them with black and I think I'm gonna do a little bit Just touching up with a little foundation. And guess what? I bought another Ben Nye pencil in red. This wasn't even for this costume, it's just kind of what they had available. I think I wanted one in black too and they didn't have one, so I got the red and the white. And I'm just filling in with the red Ben Nye pencil. You can use lipstick, whatever you want to do this. What do you think? And just for good measure, I'm darkening my mole, which I already have one up here. So this is another Ben Nye pencil that I bought while I was away, just to give her a little bit of a, I don't know if she has a mole or not, but I'm gonna darken mine. And that's it. I'm gonna put my eyelashes on, all dolled up and ready for photos. Boop, boop, be doop. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's video. Betty Boop, she's a classic. Everybody's going to love it. Everybody's gonna know who you are. And like I said, this would be a great look to do in black and white. Just make sure your dress and you know your shoes, everything's black and white. But I've never seen it done in black and white and that might be kind of cool. If you are not already, please remember to like, subscribe and share the video. We are halfway to Halloween, and I've got about 30 more costumes coming up for the year. You won't want to miss it, and I'll see you next time. Boop, boop, be doop, boop.